Hi everyone, this is Monica. I'm just doing a pop in live. I have some mail and I'm just not in the mood to edit, so I'm just gonna show everything and then sew a little bit. If I know you, you can join. Otherwise, I'm not going to do that right away. Okay. What else did I get from... That? Let me just give everybody a minute to get here. This goes in with the Juki Junkie box. Okay. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Just doing a pop-up live. Hi, Nancy. Just doing a pop-up. Just going to hang out today. First, I'm going to show my mail bag. Uh, the first up is Fat Quarter Shop. I bought um, just some solid gray charm packs. These are five-inch squares. Hi, Challenging Kitchen. How are you? And then some white... And some darker gray. Oh, you don't need my bills. <laughs> and then I bought a uh, charm pack or uh, of these barns. And here's the prints on the back. I thought this would make a really nice quilt. It's hard to see. So I got that one. And then I got this. It's the ultimate beginner kit. It is a quilt kit. Everything's in here, including the pattern. It has the stuff for the squares. It has the backing and the binding and the pattern. Uh, you just need to add your batting. So I will be making this, but not today. Uh, hi, Challenging Kitchen. Hi, Life on a Budget. Sandra's saying hi, and everyone's saying hi. If you want to drop your link, just type S-E-W, our treasured home. If you want to come on in a little bit or now, I can help you with your skirt because I'm just going to be trying to put stuff away. So that was the first mailbag. This is my second. Look at this. <laughs> I should probably make that bigger so I'm not, so you'll be able to see it so I don't have to put my arms up. There. Now you can see my mess. <laughs> okay. This was from So Yeah. And I believe this is Tulip Pink. It's just all different dots. But look at all those colors. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm sure it'll be some kind of bag. Then I got this tulip pink, and it's dots. Dots and stripes. Whoops, let me see. I don't know how they do it so well, but you get the idea on that one. And this one's tulip pink. Um, let's see what it says. 
neon true. And this is really bright colors. Look at all those. And then I got another one of those. So two of those. I didn't think I bought two of those, but I probably did because I get... And this is Cafe. This will be for a bag. But look at all those colors of blues and purples. And this is Cafe. And it has all those colors in it. I'm not going to open them up because I keep them in a drawer so they don't get dusty. And this is Cafe 2. And these are the 10 inch squares. And these will be for bags and wallets and that type of thing. And the last one is this one. Oh, I'm getting, hold on. I was doing that over my laptop. All the dust was going in. But it's got like dark purples and blues. And I just love it. Hi, June. How are you? So there's that. That's all from So Yeah. So let me throw that over here. Well, actually, I'll throw it back over there. Then I got this from the fat or Juki Junkies. I got an actual quarter inch foot, so now I don't have to look at anything. I can just line it up on the edge of the presser foot. So I got that. And then I got some more bobbins. Hi, Susan. You can join me if you want. The link's at the top. And then I bought some glide thread. This is polyester. But I bought it for uh, sewing stuff. I guess it's supposed to be uh, less linty. And it just feels silky. Now, I won't use this on anything that goes in the kitchen that will have heat because um, it might melt. So that's what I got from there. And then last but not least, I got a bunch of crap uh, stuff from Timu. <laughs> well, I got this little basket, which is fairly cheap, but it'll be good to keep stuff in. I got a pet scoop for uh, dog food. I'll use this for, I buy 40 pound bags of pine horse pellets for cat litter. So I use that to scoop it in clean into the bucket. And then I got one of these little spray bottles. It's supposed to be for oil, but I see Susan using something like this all the time. So I'm going to see if I can put my spray starch in here. And then this little contraption... Oh, they got it tied. It's for people to hold a tomato or a potato. And then it's got the little lines through and then you can cut it. It was cheap and funny, so I got it. I thought my daughter can use this because she's always really grinding into my um, cutting board. Right. This one I got to match the other one that I bought for the sink because this works really well. It's just a strainer that fits in the drain. That way all your food's not going down. Then I bought an extra one. And then I bought one that's supposed to stop the water from going down. So I don't know if they work, but I got them. I got too much stuff here. I have no room to put it. And I got this little thing. It's uh, tape dots. Or no, it's not tape. It's, it's tape. Glue tape. And I got this for when I'm doing FPP. I thought I could use it to keep my fabric, the first piece of fabric on. So I got that. And these little hooks are supposed to go on your back of your head rest to put your purse on. So I got two of those. 
Those are for my mom. And then I got this to scrub the bathroom with. It's just a sponge with scratchy and a little handle. And then this little thing whoop, is for your eyebrows to trim them so they're not... <sighs> I have no idea how you work them, but I think you brush them and I don't know. But my eyebrows are thin, but a couple of them grow wild. So I thought I could just snip them off with that one. And then I bought more of the clips, but I must have bought them from somebody different because this is what they sent me. Just a couple in each bag. So that was it for there. But this is kind of cool. You know, you could hold an onion or whatever. I won't be able to hold it long because of my hands, but my daughter could. But I was mostly just wanted this. All right, this. I'm just going to throw all this stuff back in here for now. Hi, Eddie. How are you? If anybody wants to drop their link, just type so. And hi, STV Vlogs. Hi, Sarah. Just going over stuff I bought from all the places. I still have um, two books coming from the thrift 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 and I was gonna make a video, but then I thought, well, I'll have to edit it. I don't want to have to edit today, and I don't know if anybody's seen these the horse uh, zipper pulls. Hi, Blood Dragon. Hi, Stephanie G. Just type SEW to drop your link. It'll drop it in for you. Then everybody can check you out. I don't remember if I showed these, but they were still on the table. These are horse head zipper pulls. If you like horses or if you like that movie without... Al Chip wait, it's not Chapino. Pacino. <laughs> the gangster movie. Horse heads. So there's that. And that's all. Oh no, I still got two more things, but let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I really should be putting all this stuff away instead of just show and tell and throw it back where it belongs. Oh, and I bought these books from Fat Quarter Shop, too. I don't know if I already showed them. This one is for charm packs. It's quilts you can make with the five-inch squares. And the other one is for charm packs. You can make a quilt out of the charm packs. So I'm going to pick one of these for the barn squares. Hi, Susan. How are you? <laughs> and where I'm at, there I am. Susan just joined us. I'm just showing everybody all the stuff I bought. I had to comb my hair, been away all weekend. I am so tired. So all that I'll put away later. I'm just, oh, and then I bought this because my other iron is on recall. So they had this at Dollar General for 20 bucks. And if you oh, spent 25, you got five off and it's cordless. You know, you can take it off of this thing, but I haven't read the directions yet. Where did you get it? Dollar General? Yeah, Dollar General. Oh, no, not Dollar General. Family Dollar. Oh, okay. Have to go and it's check been in there out. a while, and I've been eyeballing it, and I'm like, no, no. And then I thought it's probably still sitting there because nobody irons anymore. So I thought. Except us quilters. Yeah, so I grabbed it. And you can do it for your new steam. But you have it, the director said you had to get an old cloth first and steam it to clean it out so it doesn't stain your fabric. Well, I haven't done that part yet because this little guy here is on the recall list. I got a thing from Amazon and it gave me a link to report it, but the link went to nowhere. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It hmm. still works, but I don't want it blowing up on me. 
Yeah, they said they were starting fires and stuff. Yeah, so I don't want any fires. So I wish yeah, mine was on the list. It just quit working one day. And I've had that one for like three years at least. Three years? Yeah. Wow. I got it three years ago for Christmas. And then I've been working on these little blocks here. I've just been taking scraps. I got to sew around them yet. They're just little coasters. They ha just have one layer of batting inside. And then the back, I just use strips. So, hi, bone, tra bone tired travelers. How are you? Just type SEW and you can drop your link. So, I'm going to sew those today. And then I'm going to find the fabric that Susan sent me. If I got to tear this place apart because I want to make a bag from the daisy and the other, the two blue that matched. So I thought, well, and I think they're right in there. If they're not right in there, then I have a problem. I'll have to go through every single bucket. So, <laughs> Oh, you don't have to put hashtag, just SEW. I didn't do the hashtag on it. Keep an eye on Denise, Mona. She could be trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's Denise? I don't know. But if she starts trouble, I'll watch her. <laughs> <I'm sh> <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm thinking it might be bone tired travelers, so I don't know. <laughs> Oh, and I really need to iron this. Hmm. Well, I guess I could just... You should new iron. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. I, I got something old around here I can steam up. Oh, it's bone... Denise is bone tired traveler. <laughs> yeah. Um. Did, did it... Now, what, what was you saying? I had to mute so that I could come on. Did you say it said to... Iron something old to yeah old piece of fabric when because it'll take all the chemicals or whatever out of the iron and oh, so it yeah. doesn't um, discolor anything right and it's got a nice ceramic um, top. Well, so. I keep an old washcloth anyhow to clean my irons and stuff. You yeah, know? So I'll just grab a towel or something laying over there and. And then you can use it with the cord or without. Oh, cool. But I can't figure out how to get it off of here first. <laughs> oh, it's got a lock, I think. Yeah, oh, it should yeah. have oh, There we go. Yeah, it should have it a little lock. So you can lock it on there. Yeah. The there cord doesn't look the best. But <laughs> I, I still have this one. So I could use this. Um, for backup so all right now did they have different colors of that or that iron i don't know i didn't look i just grabbed one off the shelf but i think i'll just use this one today because i don't i don't feel like doing all that extra right right of the thing and i should probably read the direction right um bone tired traveler asking what what's the brand of that Power XL. I've never heard of it, but it looks just like the Panasonic. It's from Intertech. And it's certified in the U.S. Of course, it's made in China. Right. But so well, everything it's is. Everything, you know, so. And it's not real heavy either. So I thought I'll just use this instead of my little one. Right. My northern sounds. And that, um. I have oh, but I like the price of it. She said it was twenty five dollars. So no, it was nineteen ninety nine. Oh, but it was twenty dollars. But if you spent twenty five, I spent five more on other stuff. Then I got five dollars off. So then I got it for fifteen. Oh, okay. So I bought some chips and ice cream and other stuff so I could get five dollars off. Oh, okay. But I have this other iron I've never used. I bought from the fat quarter shop, but it's 
uh, it's not an iron. It's a portable steamer. So I didn't know. And it's heavy. So I don't think I want to use this. Yeah. Because, you know, just to do little iron. Right. And I don't know what I did with the directions for this one. <laughs> I'm sure it's in my stack. Right. I bought this last year or the year before. Yeah, I have two portable steamers, so, and they're both, uh, well, one's big and one's small. But I got this because I like to hang up my curtains wet, and I thought if there's a wrinkle, I could always steam them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. I wash my curtains and hang them up and let to let them dry. No sense in. Yep, that's what I do. On the dryer or anything, just hang I them up. I'm going to use this old one. <sighs> and the other one I think is more power, and I don't want to blow out the thing. I don't want to have to go to the basement today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just says use a damp cloth for a few minutes and it gets rid of all the residue. And make sure the steam selector is off when you plug it in. So I better keep that with it. Oh, I right. Good idea. So that's it. I got my garden in this weekend. Oh, good. Well... It's just those little things I got from Timu. I planted cantaloupe in one only because I had to fill up the thing for to for ten dollars, you know, the flat. Yeah. And then in the other one I put cucumbers and then zucchini in the other one. Well, I forgot about the tomatoes. I didn't have any pots, so I just put holes in the bags of dirt and shoved the tomato plants in there. And what I go get? <laughs> When I go get some doing that. <laughs> that's a good idea, Mona. <laughs> well, I saw it on YouTube actually. No. <laughs> when I go get five gallon buckets from my mom, then I will uh you know, re put them in there. Right. Hi, Mr. Whistle. Hi, Carrie Richard. Hi, empty nest crafter Pam. Mr. Whistle's doing really good. Mr. Whistle. Hi, Northern Sounds. Is that a channel? Yeah, I met him the other day. Hi, Rita. Do you want to come up? Oh, hi, Rita. Mr. Whistle. You want to come up with us for a while, Rita? Now, what did I do? Oh, and I rearranged everything, and then I lost stuff. So I got stuff in the middle here. And then I had to block that whole side because the cat keeps going in my closet. Mm -hmm. And I have some sheets in there. Well, they're all covered in cat hair again. So I'm going to yeah. have to wash those. Then she gets on top and gets the bottoms of my sweatshirts and stuff furry. And I don't like it. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, I love the cat, but I don't like her hair. Right. Yeah, I know what so, you mean. I got everything blocked underneath there. And I can't get in to move anything because of the giant air conditioner <laughs> right so other than that that's all i'm doing and you know i thought i'd kill some time because <laughs> uh i'm down to 300 and something is all i need for watch hours oh wow that's good yeah so i thought well a couple What'd she say? Terry's in the house right now eating lunch. When he goes out again, I might come up. Okay, Rita. I don't know if I have the steam on here. I don't think it matters. But, but yeah, I'm sick of quilting projects right now. I want to go back to bags this week. And this needle should be getting shot so I can switch everything. Oh, your needle in your sewing machine. Yeah, I try and wear one out before I switch to another one. I hear you. Although I have a bunch here that there's one, two, three, four poked over there in my clips, but I don't know what they are. I'll have to look at them first. I might be able to use those. Oh, it took me a minute to figure out who she was talking about. It. Terry. Oh, that's her hubby. 
Yeah, she was wild riding yesterday on the uh, tractor with them. <laughs> she was doing what? Going for a ride on the tractor. Wow. Oh. She was, uh, I don't know how you say it, but doing hay. Putting you know, up hay, I think that's what they call it. Yeah, I was uh, riding the crazy highways yesterday. People just have no sense or, or, uh, or common courtesy on the road anymore. Let me tell you. No, they don't. Does anybody on here have any idea what the difference between a green orophil and an orange orophil? Do they know the difference between them? Probably the weight. Maybe one's 40, one's 50. Let me see if I have any. Mine's, oh no, I have green too. The orange is 30 weight. Well, this one says 52. Well, they're both 30 grams. Yeah, I know the orange is 50 oh. weight. Bye, Jen. The, wait a minute. Let me get it. Hey, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, orange is 50, green is 40. So it looks like the green is thicker than the orange. Oh, so that's the only, it's just a little bit thicker. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I went to this quilt shop Saturday. I left my husband with his son. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> We went to Friday night. We had a graduation for the um, his oldest daughter. And then his youngest daughter had her seventh birthday Saturday. Oh, boy, was that fun. Bunch of, I forgot how much kids can scream and yell and holler. Let me tell you. <laughs> this one little girl, I kept telling everybody she needed a nap. She kept crying about everything. You know, oh. they won't let me do this. I didn't get the cupcake I want or the little bluey thing. I don't even know what bluey is, but it's a new cartoon or something. Oh. Well, I finally, the store closed at five o'clock. And so I was biting at the bit about uh, 10 minutes to four. I said, uh, went over and said, Chris, I didn't realize his, his dad was sitting in the chair. He had his eyes closed. I thought he was sleeping. So I went over and said to his son, I said, I'm going to leave your dad with you. And I'm heading over to the quilt shop and uh, see if, uh, if they've got anything different than, you know, what I find at my quilt shop. And he said, what's dad going to say? I said, I'm going to tell him I'm leaving him. I said, he would, th this was the plan because you guys are going to the race tonight. He said, oh, okay. <laughs> so I went over and, uh, and talked to my husband. I told him, I said, I'm leaving. I said, you're going to stay here with Chris. So he will drop you back off at the motel. He's like, well, how, or at the hotel. He said, well, how am I going to get in? And I said, I will be there. I said, I'm <laughs> running over. The, the quilt shop closes at five. So I'll be back to the room by the time you get there. And uh, I was enjoying myself. I had a good time. Just well, that's good. It's nice to go shopping by yourself. Oh, I go shopping by myself all the time. I drop him off at the tool store and I go to the quilt shop. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Sarah says she don't know the green. Yeah, I came upstairs because Haley was in a mood and whiny. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going upstairs. <laughs> right, right. But this this green thread, I usually pay probably 13 or 14 dollars for that orange or a fill well i saw they had this green one and it was uh i think it was 10.99 or 11.99 and so i figured you know i'd give it a try well actually dummy me didn't notice the difference in the color <laughs> <laughs> yeah one's just a little bit thicker right. i like a little bit thicker myself I think it'll be fine. The, the green is thicker or the orange is thicker? The green is thicker. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I, I thought because uh, it, it looked like uh, the spool. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't have a full one here. 
it. And then I got this beautiful fabric. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. And then I found this one. Just something about it. I think it's got French words on it. And it's got, it's white with like um, purple droplets, like purple. I don't know if you can see it there. I think it's oh, French. that's pretty with the writing. Yeah, I think it's French. I, uh, all I know is I can't read it. <laughs> then they had this. And these are showing pretty true to color, too. Oh, that's pretty. Hi, Z. Then I got me a ruler. Then I got me some more um, clothesline cord to make me um, some more root bowls. Oh, there you go. And then I found this. It's a different style of um, of um, a seam ripper, but actually, I think it's an eyebrow brush. <laughs> See it? Oh, okay. It looks like a little razor. Yeah. I would cut myself with that. Yeah, actually, I I'm think I'm always that's dropping it because I, I see him ripping bed at night and I'll be sitting there. I wonder why the next morning I'm itchy and I got thread all stuck all over to me. Great. I find it relaxing. Mm -hmm. I just broke my thread. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I've gotten into these uh, quilter select rulers. Just regular rulers or uh, free motion? Um, regular rulers. Quilter Select brand now. Oh, okay. I don't think I have any of those. Yeah, I, I, I was getting all these creative grid, and I've got a crap ton load of them. And, uh, but they slip. Oh. On your fabric, if you're not careful. And Those don't slip? No, quilter select. No, they've got this uh, some kind of coating on the whole bottom of them, and and uh, there's some oh, kind I of. I saw somebody had those. I don't remember who, but. Oh, okay, that's good to know, Donna. She said that kind is good for ripping on the long arm. Oh. She's ripping on the long arm. Hi, Agnes Jimenez, or however you say that. Hi, Donna Huffler. That's my mom's. Maiden name, where it was. Hoffler? Or Hoffler. I'm, I'm, huh? sure I'm not saying it right. Oh, Donna Hoffler. I was talking about Jimenez. Oh. Let's see if anybody has any questions. Oh, just that that's good. Oh, it's useful that. for paper piecing. Agnes, how do you use it on paper piecing? I'm trying to see what my... Mine is, but I can't find it. And hello, Z. Oh, it's back here. What? My roller. Oh, mine's Creative Grids. Which one did you get? The Quilter Select. Oh, okay. Mine's yeah. Free Motion, but it has sticky stuff on the back. I have a bunch of the... Um, I just have this one. Oh, you only have the one? I have probably just about every size they have and shape and all, but then I found out that they're, they're a little slippery on there. Then I was reading a book last night in bed, and I realized I've been practicing my free motion quilting wrong the whole time. Oh, goodness. When I go to change directions, I've been lifting the presser foot and turning the fabric. Oh. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to move it left to right or front to back. No. Oh, I was spinning it all over the place. <laughs> I could have seen me when I went to do an actual big quilt. Uh, well, this ain't working. <laughs> so now I got to start over from scratch. Uh, do you mean like when you're ripping the seam, Agnes? Like, you know, like I do, always sew the wrong thing. Oh, it slides in the seam. Yeah, that must be what she's talking about. Yeah, do it. My regular seam ripper do too. 
Yeah, I've gotten pretty good with these. <laughs> I just have the cheapo ones, the 39 these. Because the worst I can do is poke myself. <laughs> yeah. If anybody yeah. wants to drop their link, they can type SEW into the chat and it'll drop it for you. Oh, wait. Why do I have two windows open? I did something wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> three views of Monica. Yeah, 3D Monica. We don't need that. That's what I was trying to do right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, what is going on with that thing over there? And then I look. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, my mom liked her mug rugs. Oh, good, good. It's always She's a like, good I'm thing. I'm just like this. I go, they're scraps. I don't have those scraps anymore. Right. I still have a ton of weeds to do, but I'm like, I am not doing it today. If my gardener or whatever you landscaper would just do it, I wouldn't have this problem. I bought some miracle grow so I can feed my plant. Oh, good job. If the tomato plants only make it, I'll be happy. You know, I'm going to try and keep them all alive, but right. if anything's going to survive, I hope it's the tomato plant. Because I bought tomatoes and cucumbers is my favorite. I bought a uh, burpless cucumber plant. Mm. Never had them, but that's all they had. So I like uh, cucumber bushes. Well, I kind of went late, and they still had lots of tomato plants, but they didn't have, uh, they had, like, one zucchini plant. I bought it, and they didn't have any herbs at all, and... Those are vines, you know. What, the herbs? The zucchini and cucumbers. Yeah, I put it in a thing all by itself. Both of them I put... I put three, three plants in each one and then eight cantaloupe in there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. And I really didn't want cantaloupe, but I had to use up my, well, I guess I could have bought less plants, but it was a good deal. You fill up the whole thing for $10. Right. So. Could have gotten flowers, you know, sometimes having uh, certain kinds of flowers in your like marigolds to keep certain kind of bugs away and yeah, they, they, they attract the bees for pollinating your your plants the flowers yeah they didn't have any marigolds whatsoever oh, no. my mom said it was too early for them i said well i never heard of that but i did buy some purple flowers i don't know what they are never seen them before but I bought those. I planted those in a pot out on the front porch. Mm. And then I got a $3 bucket at Family Dollar. And you wet this thing in the middle and it had basil seeds. So I dumped that in there. I have that in the kitchen. So I'll see if it grows. Because I love fresh basil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kill all the other flowers, so I usually only buy uh, marigolds because you, if you forget to water them, you can go out there. They'll be half dead. You put some water on it, and they come right back. Right. <laughs> so I'll have to get some somewhere else. A lot of times, Family Dollar and Dollar General used to sell seeds. Yeah, I got a seed pack at Family Dollar. Came with a little pot. Did I unplug that? Yes. Oh, I think I finished them already. 
Well, now I can look for my, oh, what a mess. I really need to put some of this away. I can't even get over there to, oh, I got this. <laughs> Isn't this what you use to for your, um, I don't know. Hold it down by your machine because you're a lot bigger down there. Oh, yeah. Hold it over. Is that it's a like mister? a little spray bottle. Is that a mister? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's for oil, but I got it for my, you know, that spray start stuff. Right. Right. So we'll see if it works. I don't know if it will or not. I'll put your link in the chat so everybody has yours. Where'd you get it? Timu. Mm. It was, I don't know, two dollars maybe. Yeah, it's a lot better than um than um where I bought mine. These bigger bottles. I bought three of them at Amazon. They were about ten dollars a piece. Ooh. And that's about what I paid for the, the smaller ones, too. This was the most expensive one. Hard at the quilt shop. <laughs> mm, that must not be it. Here, I'll just type this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that fabric. <laughs> Nope. Mm, nope. I have a feeling I'm going to find it. I mean, lose it. Oh, it's here in this room, but. <laughs> but where? Where is another story. Oh, these are all towels. To make towels. Because I keep rearranging stuff. And then I don't remember where I get rearranged it too. What in there? Maybe it's at the bottom. No. Hi, Asia. How are you? Not there. I hope I said your name right. Oh, this might be it over here. I didn't know I had fabric down here. <laughs> <laughs> Mona's on a treasure hunt. And Asia said thank you. She re received her package. Oh, good. Not there either. Well, what the heck? It better not be in one of those other tubs. No, no, that's scraps, 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 scraps. Well, I need to take this out, so I'll just. Hi, yo, Patty G. I'm doing good. Mona's on a treasure hunt over there. I bet you it's under my bed. I will be so mad if I got to climb underneath there. What'd you say? I said it might be under my bed in a basket. No. Oh. And I'll be mad if I got to climb underneath there. I thought I had it out in a project bin. Oh, it's probably over on the other side, I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's batting. You can slide in there. Not funny. <laughs> Where's the other contraption? Oh. Those are patterns. Oh, maybe it's in this heavy duty thing. No, those are scraps. All right, I'll take a break and then I'll go on this side. Huh. Better check the chat. Hi, yo, Patty. Hi, Aisha. <laughs> Sorry, I was crawling around on the floor trying to find 
uh, the fabric Susan sent me from the giveaway because I want to make a bag. And I don't know where it is. Oh, it might be there. Oh, no. And I put it with some other fabric that's missing. Well, it's not really missing. I just can't find it. Right. It's hiding from you. Well, it might be in here. You don't need any uh, crowns thread, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I bought all this a long time ago. I don't know how many yards. It's crowns to make my uh, oh wow sister-in-law a thing. Oh, I bet you it's down in here because I was pulling out. All right, let's look here. I'll find it if it kills me. Oh, that's plugged in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Good thing I didn't touch that. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a hot one. Ugh. Would you plug in your iron? My old one that I used. I thought I unplugged it, but I didn't unplug it. Oh. Well, here's that tulip fabric I was going to use for the downstairs. Found it. There's some ugly black fabric. Turqu oh, look at this. It's fireflies. Mm. <coughs> That's cute. <coughs> oh, those are all my shih tzus. I don't see it there. I remember the one had um, some <coughs> sunflowers. Yeah. I don't remember what the other one was. It was a long time ago. Oh, there's that white fabric I lost. Oh, goodness gracious. Nope, that's all scraps and... Hankies. Hold on, I gotta climb under here for a second. I ain't dragging it all out. Oh, those are all zippers. <sighs> Maybe it's in here with all this. It should be. That's all canvas right there. Nope, nope. <laughs> It'll be the last place you look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's my quilt. <laughs> quilt. I was looking for that. That in there. <laughs> Those are scrap. Oh, here's some more scripts. Those go over here. <clears throat> Hi, Canadian family life. I think over here's all scraps. What's with all the scraps? Oh, that was for a quilt. Never mind. I know what that's for. Well, they're not over there. <coughs> so I get to put all this back. It's got to be over there. Just make sure my... I'm not facing the screen with my you know what. <laughs> Let me shove this back there. Oh, it's not going back in as neat as it came out. <coughs> of course not. Zippers. Oh, you know what? I think it's over here on this shelf. Let me look. <laughs> No, I moved everything off that shelf. Oh. Well, what's this over here? She'll find it. Y'all don't know. Oh. She's looking for some fabric that she wanted to give away. Because <coughs> she want to make a bag. 
I want to make something. Yeah. Because I had it all planned out in my head last night. All right, let me just go check one more thing and then I'll stop. <laughs> No, that's not it. Oh, there's a book. What's it going way down there? <coughs> Hi, Linda. Linda didn't hear. It's gracious. I keep coughing. So far, it's a noby. <sighs> Well, that should be all that. Nope. <laughs> Need to take a break. It's not anywhere it's supposed to be. That's crazy. <sighs> that irritates me. Mm -hmm. It should be right here in this drawer. Let me look again. I'm going to say that's what you got to do. Take everything out. Well, I already went in there. Those were towels. Could it be in the back and you're just not seeing it? Probably. Because I moved all the different um, drawers. I moved them all over the place. Oh, I forgot I moved the drawer over there. I bet you it's over there. Oh, <laughs> let me go check. <laughs> One last spot. Fat quarters, it's not there. Everybody, get your fingers crossed. Did she find it? Ha ha! You found it? Yep. If I can get. The oh, door. good. See, that helps. You cross your fingers, somebody can find it. Oh, I didn't know I had all these charm squares in here. <laughs> I need to stop buying stuff. That's what I need to do. <laughs> that whole bottom drawer is full. Well, this. I know, Linda. I do the same thing. She said, I hate when I put something where I know it will be. Then I forget where I put it. Yeah. Well, I found it. Found it. Good, good. Yes. This is what I want to do. Okay, I remember that one. That one, that one I want to make it with these two. Means I have to show the fabrics. I remember. I remember the yellow one. Yeah. And here's the other one. I put them in the bag. Great. <laughs> now I got to find the pattern. I saw it online. I tried to print it, but my printer wouldn't let me print nothing last night. Hmm. Adobe, it kept saying... You have to do something. Hi, Joshua. Hi, Linda. Oh, I could make a sand hill sling. Uh, you can be a possibility. Well, it should be a half a yard there of each one. No, I don't want that one. No, no. Is that all your bag patterns? Yeah. It's all the ones that I bought off independent. I got a whole nother thing in the other room with the other ones. Mm -hmm. You know, like simplicity and stuff. Mm -hmm. And a whole bunch I haven't printed. <laughs> right. I could make it. What's that one? Oh, that's the sunshine. I don't want to make that one either. Although that would be perfect for it. A lot of the bags I used to make, I didn't even have a pattern for them. I just well, that's what I did with that uh, one I made out of the squares. That this red one, one. This one for it's got the yarn for it to make a sweater for my husband. 
See that? Isn't that going to be a beautiful sweater? Oh, that'll be nice. This is when I first started. And when I first, I have an addictive personality. So I buy all kinds of stuff. And then, <laughs> you know. Yeah, they're close enough. I dyed this to make oh, him a sweater. I've got six bowls. Which should be enough to make him a sweater. But the one I want is not in here, so. Yeah, and I made that bag. And then I got another bag up here for him. And these last ones are all so sweetness. No, no. I made this bag for his fabric. I mean, his yarn. I'm going to have to look again because I think I. Uh... Oh, I have seven. Excuse me, I have seven. <laughs> Started making it. And then I took it out, I guess. And I could have swore I already printed this one and had it ready. Well, there's card slots for something. Oh, the Shazzy wristlet by Aura Russo. I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> no. Oh, those are slippers. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to be in here. No wonder I couldn't find you. Bill bait and tackle outdoors. Howdy, folks. I, I know nothing about sewing and most other things, but sewing support. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm pretty but sure this is. I, sorry, too. Let me see. Yeah, those are slippers. Definitely don't want that. Maybe in the winter time. Yeah, I don't know if anybody anything happened in the chat or not. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was <Yeah>. around. <clears throat> My sewing room kind of got put on hold for a little bit because, uh, well, right now I got to rest up because I had to, we had to go about three and a, if I drove faster, it'd probably take me three hours to get there, but it take me about four hours because people are crazy out there. Oh yeah, they are driving, especially. Man, I mean, you're driving on a, coming across the Bay Bridge. And they've got a double line, big sign saying, do not pass, stay in your lane and stuff. And they had people weaving in and out. Oh, jeez. Crazy. Oh, and, I uh, but I had to go away for the weekend, was busy running around with the grandkids. And I can't believe my daughter-in-law wouldn't, her mom wouldn't come over and help her. Well, she'd forgotten about her. She had her daughter's birthday the day after her stepdaughter's um, graduation. So she'd forgotten about having the, the graduation the night before. So she thought she had all of Friday night to get ready for Maddie's birthday party. And Chris called her and was like, are you getting ready? He was from work. And he said, dad and Susan are coming in and Dummy me forgot my dress is still hanging in the doorway. Husband was supposed to take it out to the car, but he didn't. And I forgot to check, so I had to stop at Kohl's. Thank goodness I went early. I had to stop at Kohl's and buy me a new dress. Shame, shame. <laughs> had to buy me a new <laughs> a new dress. <laughs> but um, my daughter-in-law saw me there, and she was like, uh, Oh, she said, did you go to Kohl's and get that dress? And I said, yeah. She said, that's the funniest thing. She said, I was going to get that same dress, but they didn't have it in my size. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I got it. Because <laughs> that was the thing with Kohl's. It's hard to find the right sizes and stuff, you know. I tried on a bunch of dresses where I got the right one. And um, But I had my little, my little slip-on thing. Because... You may got spaghetti straps. I don't want my ball straps showing, you know, so I wear a little something over top of it. Yeah. 
And she said she was looking for something like that. But she couldn't find it. Or why she bought the dress. But I wanted something longer, you know. And I knew I was going to be sitting in like bleacher seats and didn't want to have to worry about, you know, my dress coming up or anything. Well, my dress is like real long in the back. Hi, Rowinda. R Rowena. Sorry. Hi, Rowena. How are you? Well, the one I'm, the pattern I'm looking for is not in here. I checked it twice. But anywho, I had to put my sewing room on hold so I can rest up. That just take a lot out of me. Oh, but anyhow, I went over Saturday morning and helped my my daughter-in-law get her get the birthday party set up and finish cutting up the fruit and all that. She was worried. She probably would have been cutting it pretty close if I hadn't gone over to help. But I went over about an hour and a half before the party and got, just got her going. I had to go and say hi to some people I missed while I was crawling around on the floor. <laughs> Canadian family life. Hey, at least you Our found the family. fabric. I think those right? are the ones I lost. Yeah, but I can't find the pattern I want. Who's Tiffany? You said hi, Tiffany. Oh, that's Canadian family life. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know. Then I'm knitting on a sock. I knit also. So let me see. I got this one. I could make a little clutch. Hi, Gladys. Hi, Gladys. Hope you're well. Or I have this expedition tote I could make. But I wanted to make, I don't know the name of it. Oh, I feel Is it kind of like a backpack? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jackie, wristlet. Oh, you probably can't see it through the blue. Take it out of there. I can see it a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's cute. And I've made this one for my mom, so I don't want that one. Mm. This backpack's too big. Oh, yeah. But I could make a divided basket, but not out of those. Oh, yeah. So it's between mm -hmm. this one. You know what I want to make when I move into my room? Oh, yeah. The sling purse? Is that what that called? Yeah. I think I will make that one. When I move out to my room, I want to make a bunch of um, baskets and put a color strip on it for what kind of fabrics in the basket for my oh, scraps. Okay. Or you can make the baskets that color. Yeah. Linda says she liked the sling bag. Yeah, Rowena said. Rowena said, "I like making cosmetic bags. I line them with. I think she meant clear vinyl. Yeah, I line mine with waterproof canvas. I gotta finish this one up first. That'll be with that. Did I show you my mountain?" Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, I won't show it to you again. <laughs> you got that from Violet Crafts. Yeah, Violet Crafts. Oh, that's a peekaboo. What's this one? Oh. No, I showed my stepson that that cheetah <laughs> pattern. And he said, Oh yeah. And then he says, Well, what would I do with it, Susan? And I said, Throw it on your you can have it for like a throw quilt for during the winter time you know if you get chilly and want to cover up throw it on your sofa in the winter time 
Now, you know, you can keep it there all the time. He said, oh, okay, that'd be good. And I asked him, would he use it if I made it for him? He wouldn't yeah. spend all that time if he'd, you know, give it to him if he wasn't going to use it. Right. I got to see if I have enough room to cut here. I might have to move all that stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Donna Armstrong. Yes, we're having a wonderful day. I said, I hope we're having a wonderful day or a good day. <laughs> well, I'm trying. <laughs> well, I can just go over there. Those are my chickens. Did I show you my chickens? Mm, I don't think so. All right, I'll show you those. What I I don't have them together yet because I haven't found the foot pedal to my singer or so I can do a zigzag or whatever. Yeah. But here's the one and I still got to put the head on and the beak and stuff. Oh, okay. Is that that pattern that um... from Rita? Yeah. And here's one, another one. Oh, one that has another grocery bag cut out. Nice. Oh, okay. You already put the feather. And then there's that one. I just got to cut out the back that I'm putting these on because I'm making a table runner. Okay. And then I have a I have an egg and a little chicky to put on there too. <laughs> That's um, what they call it, applique. Oh cute. Yeah. yeah. And here's all the little pieces for the head and stuff. I'm not an applique fan. I started that one with Tracy Louise. I told her I'm shooting for 2024. <laughs> so there's that so I can move that over here in this pile of stuff I don't know what I'm doing put these books out of the way right because I didn't realize it was I'll on my bed for now right I didn't realize it was applique when I bought the pattern yeah these are done those can get out of here I know I'll just throw all this stuff on my bed I'm not sleeping here tonight anyway, so it doesn't matter if there's stuff on it. Well, just remember, you're going to have to make it, you're going to have to clear it off when you do sleep over there. Yeah, well, the place where I put all my pre-cuts is over here in the dresser, so it won't be hard. I just don't want to take all day when people are in here moving right. stuff around. <laughs> this I'm going to keep out. Jean... Laura said, oh, my land. So cute, Mona. Thank you. Chicken and the egg. All right, that can go in the garbage. There's bobbins. She can get out of the way. I keep all my receipts. So when, if something happens to me, my kids aren't giving it away for nothing. Right. Unless there's somebody I know that sews, then I'd say, give it to this person. But if they need the money to sell, then, all right, that can wait. Did I show you my, my chicken bags? Have you done a... There's my chicken. Video on, on applique, Mona? Huh? Have you done a video, a tutorial on applique? No. There's my chicken. No, oh, cute. That's going to be a front of the bag. Mm -hmm. That's very cute. But I forgot about it. So it's over in the pile to do along with that other pile. Because uh, Donna Armstrong asked if you'd done it. And she said, I've never done applique. And I'm not sure just how to get started. Well, I can show her when I finish the chicken. I just... I use that. Uh, there's my beak pattern. <laughs> what that my little beak on there? I use that. Uh, what do you call it? Wonder under or heat and bond? Yeah, heat and bond. That yeah. was trying to think of. This one here is what I use. It's upside down. Comes in a roll. I think you can buy it by the yard too. Yeah, that's how I buy it from my quilt shop. Well, I don't even remember buying this, but I have it. And you just trace 
trace it on there and then you iron it to the back of your fabric and then you peel it off and then iron it to your base and then just sew it on oh, this goes over here but yeah, i was going to do it on this old 401 singer i can't find the foot pedal <laughs> hi shad 73 oh my hi shaz how are you welcome so i'm gonna have to get in the closet and i have it barricaded so the cat get in there so that's gonna be a afternoon thing when nobody's home because if i can't find something i tend to scream so that's why i started looking on here so i wouldn't get too crazy <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's my little quarter inch foot. It looks just like this one. It's identical. Oh no, this one's got a fatter side. Okay. Let me put you in there. I don't think I need the directions. I can pretty much tell. You just keep it at the end. So. Now what do I do with that? Oh, here's the pattern. This is what I'm going to be cutting out today. I probably won't sew it today. It's a sling bag. Made with this fabric here. From Sewing Sensations by Shady Susan. <laughs> I want it at our giveaway along with all this fabric and some other goodies. Yeah, I knew you made bags. That's why. Yeah, but this bag, I can't even remember who it's from. It's in my thing. But the handles show out and you can see the lining sticking out. And I just thought, oh, that would be so cool. Her but daughter did, Jean. You want to know how you come up with Simona did what? My daughter. My uh, friend's nickname in New York was Mona. And then she was making fun of me for getting braces and doing all kinds of stupid stuff. So she <laughs> named it. So I have a little impulse control issues. <laughs> as you can tell by all the purchases. <laughs> but now I'm on a freeze. That's it. <laughs> no more because I forgot about that drawer over there There's... Well, next time right no I'm going to try because I'm going on vacation in end of July where are you going I'm going to New York finally I haven't been there since 1998 upstate wow. New York so I'm going to visit the friends that are still alive which aren't too many right I figure I better go now while I'm halfway decent and can move around. Right. I hear that. I buy these envelopes at the Dollar Tree, and then I put the cutting list in here, and then I can use a um, dry erase marker and mark them off. And then when I'm done, I just wipe it off. Especially for ones that give you just... Oh, I got a bunch of little things in here. Oh, where the heck? Oh, the pattern's over here. <laughs> or should I wait and do that tomorrow? Maybe I should just make a plain old tote bag today. That sounds like more fun than trying to do all these little pieces. Front, front pocket. Oh, that's a postcard. Oh, here's the pattern pieces. Plus... Hmm. Rounding corners temple. Oh, you must have to count all these by measurements. I can't do that on camera. I'll get distracted and cut them up wrong. <laughs> I know myself I will. 
I don't want to waste this, so this will be a tutorial where I'm not on camera, or I'll have it all cut out ahead of time. So we're back to square one. At least I got some stuff cleaned up. Chad, if you or anybody else wants to drop their link, just type SEW in the chat and it'll drop your link for you. That way everybody can check out your channel. Same goes for anybody else, SEW. So I'm going to work on this. Or no, I don't want to work on that. I'm going to work on this. <laughs> Now that's more fall. Now I'm going to put these in this drawer, Susan. Not that one. It's too messy. And this one. So if I forget. Okay. So we all see it. Yeah. Was it the third drawer down? Second. Second. <laughs> okay. And I think I'm going to use this purple and make a tote bag. Isn't that canvas too? Yeah, it's all canvas. Oh, okay. So I'm going to make a tote bag out of this. Because I think I have purple waterproof canvas. Hmm, should I do it this kind of thing? Well, I don't want it quite that tall. So, that won't be good enough for my cutout handles. Oops. Hold it in half. Let's do it this way. Cruise and Koozie coming in to say hi and hit the thumbs up. Have a great day, everyone. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess I should have kept an eye on the basement in case somebody popped in there. I don't see anybody. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Are those tote bags good for grocery shopping? Yes. Yeah, I made some on my channel, too. Super duper easy. Well, I'm going to make some smaller ones. Are you? Yeah, I need to make me some smaller ones, too. Are you making your um, handles or you put the webbing on like I did? It depends. If I have webbing I like, I'll use it. But I don't like that propylene or whatever webbing. Um, but I will use that to put inside of fabric. To make them sturdy and then use fabric for the outside. I've switched over to these. Oh, I, what love, the I love this webbing. It's like seat belt webbing that you would use. It's real wide. You can use it for backpacks and stuff. I've switched over to that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the kind of webbing is that I put on mine, but it seems to be working great. Oh, it works great. It's just, it's rough on my skin. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. They're not too rough. No, I have a bunch of that too, but. Um, yeah, I just used a half a yard of fabric is what I use to make my bags. Well, I'm making mine a little bit smaller. I'm only right. making mine 14 inches. Yeah, I'm going to make some smaller ones. Because I took down all the great big ones I had. Right. But I just like them so that I can, you know, I don't have to worry about my stuff falling out because my husband has had uh, three strokes and he's not real good about grabbing stuff. Yeah. Like 
it was with grocery bag till grab one handle and when they were using the paper next thing you know everything was on the ground and he oh, would okay. because of the the plastic bag or the paper bag and how they did it we did the same thing with plastic bags he's oh. just i don't know but this one i'm going to make two hand well the two handles that you can pick up and also one uh, that you can put on your shoulder all on the same bag. And Linda wants to know, do you square the bottoms? I did on mine. Yes, I do on every one. And then, uh, but this is going to be a small one. And uh, Jean, wanted, Jean Horror wanted to know, did you have a time to go back and watch the live that it w I guess that was on um, Friday when you had to go to your uncle's. She said she never laughed so hard on the live. I had I was watching, but I couldn't comment because I don't understand this tablet. I can watch stuff, but I can't comment on it. So I have to turn my phone on. I think I did comment uh, on my phone. No, right I have it. It. I'll have to go back and see. Yeah. The uh, Donna Armstrong, I am taking a day off. I might take two days off from the move because I was gone all weekend and it kind of tuckered me out. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> so I got to rest up a little bit. But it's coming along pretty good. As soon as uh, I get up some energy, I got to empty out a freezer so that we can move it because it's packed full of meat and it doesn't want to move too easy i'll put it that way and so husband and i are going to move it and i told him the other day about just moving it over where the refrigerator is so we want to get out of there and then i don't have to worry about moving them again you know when we go to move yeah. all this stuff in there my sewing table and my long arm and all. Yeah, I don't think my long arm will come out without taking it apart. I might be able to take just the legs off and move it out. I don't know. I thought I had purple waterproof canvas, but apparently I'm not going to like that. <sighs> yeah, she says she knows what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably like, why is she even live today? She's running around like a chicken with her head cut off. <laughs> no, I come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have purple over here. I just hear it knitting on a sock. Oh, I don't like that. Check here. Oh, that's downstairs, so I'll use this purple. This is, um, this is what my daughter bought me for my Mother's Day. It's water-resistant canvas from Mormino. So that'll make a nice sturdy lining. And then I'm just going to put a slip pocket in the inside for my keys. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, I don't need to waste that much. Whoop, something bit the dust. Uh-oh. That's all right. It'll survive. Now that uh, shop you're talking about, what's it called? More Me Know? Yeah, more me know. It's, uh, yeah, that's the name of it. Lauren Marino, or more me know, is her name. I need something to hold this. I mean, heavy. Oh, I did not cut that straight at all. Oh, you know 
know what? I'm going to have to switch needles because these won't be thick enough. Okay, we got this, this. And these may be handles, I haven't decided. There we go. I'm going to need some purple. I think I have purple over here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, yes, I do, Linda Denton. Well, I was I was making one. I did give the measurements and all. Yeah, I was I did it on a live. And oh, uh, yeah. Jean Jean Rohr said, "I can see the chat on the big screen TV, but if I want to comment, I have to use my phone. It seems odd that you can't comment on your iPad. This is a." Uh, I can comment on my iPad. No, this is a fire, an Amazon fire. It's not a. Um, oh, that might have not an iPad. Oh, dear. But I can't comment on it. It's weird, I know. I think, what about this? You think you it's. You don't see the light. What? Right, Rowan. For a handle. With the purple. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that. It's got purple and red and mm -hmm. yellow. Yeah, it's of the rainbow. Yeah, I got some really thick. <laughs> some smaller, some medium, and then that. But I thought I had purple in here, but I don't. I must have used it all up. I think I'm going to use this. Just I think that would be fine. Well, it looks nice. <sighs> Yeah, I'll hold them both up together. I think it'll look nice because this is darker than it looks. So, let me do the pocket. Oh, that wasn't it. Hmm. Yeah, a little while ago. I'm sure I did it on a live. No, you did a video. And then you did a live too with it. But you did a video tutorial, I'm pretty sure, on your um, tote bags, regular tote bags. All right, this I'm just making a nice big pocket. I'm just going to sew all the way around and leave a hole for turning. Which I don't like to really do tutorials on live, so even though I have. But just in case anybody wants to know what I'm doing over here. Oh, there's thread in here. Oh, I got purple. I wonder if I got... Well, I'll save that for top stitching. Heck yeah, man. Oh, there's my uh, glue. Find all kinds of stuff when I'm looking. I think I can sew this all together with just my quilting needle until I get to putting it all together. Then I'll have to get out the uh, thicker needle. Hi, UK Medic. Thanks for stopping in. You can type SEW to drop your link. Oopsie doody, I dropped something. <laughs> All right. Where this cushion's really. Hi, Kino No Show. Hi, yo, Patty. Oh, 
I didn't need to do that one. Oh man, I'm, geez, I'm about stupid today. Okay, it's it's the one it's the the one that says I'm gonna try this live and see what happens. Oh goodness, where'd I go? And I got a blue shirt on and I'm holding up a, a pink cutting board. It was a month ago. Oh good, I can't wait to see your drone footage. And my hair's very messy. <laughs> I think it was longer than a month ago, wasn't it? Well, that what the thing here say. Oh, okay. And um, said so straight one. Well, I got a bunch of them. It says streamed a month ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If it was last month. I sewed these together, a right and a wrong side together. So I got to take it apart already. It's the first one that says one month ago, and then the, the one right next to it say two months ago. It says, going to try to go live to see what happens. Because the week before, I had a buckle with it. Yeah, and you were just taking a half a yard, folding it in half, and making your bags, right? Yeah. Square in the bottoms, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just to give you an idea of how to make it. Been busy shooting some drone footage. Oh, wow. i got to one day figure out how to drive my, drive my drone. i got two of them. I have one in the closet, but it's just a cheapo. I got it at an auction brand new. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I bought it. Because I go crazy bidding at auctions. Right. Yeah, I have one that... that I didn't like it. My husband bought it for me. He paid a lot of money for it, too. But you have to control it with your cell phone. And I didn't like that. And so it's brand new, never been used, taken out of the box. Yeah, mine's been taken out. And I looked at it and shoved it back in the box. Yeah. And then I bought another one. I don't even know what, where, where is that. And I've never flew it either. But it's just a little one. I'm going to give it away. On a shelf somewhere. It's just a little one. Hmm. Take it back there on the shelf. I should be cleaning and dusting today, but don't feel it. Not feeling it. Plus, my daughter was on my list of nerves, so I'm like, I'm just going to go upstairs in my happy space. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. She did really good on her pet sitting job. Not only did they pay her very well, but they brought her home a necklace from their vacation. Oh, nice. It's really pretty. My husband and his son was arguing over this restaurant that we stopped at. Oh, that's right. I get that for dinner. They was arguing over the name of this restaurant that we all like. We called the Fisherman's Crab Deck. My husband was saying it was Crab Deck, and Chris was calling it Fisherman's. Well, the name of the place is Fisherman's Crab Deck. Oh. So they was both right. And I told Chris, I looked at him, I said, I don't know, why are you arguing with your dad? Because you know he's right. And he looked at me, and, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you see what Joe Patty wrote? Mona, I think you invented squirrel moments. <laughs> I think you're right, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen me as a kid. I'd get home from school, and then I'd have to search all over for my books. They were in the refrigerator. How'd they get in there? I don't know. I must have had a drink after school and set them in there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
Oh, you know what, Linda? I could put a put that channel up and give put the link up for you. It'd be okay. Interface this. Yeah, I don't care. Put it right in the chat. I'm not going to interface this, but I'm going to interface the outside, maybe. Just onto that. There you go, Linda. That's a, that's the link to that video. I'm gonna just click on it and save it. And then come back over here and watch this craziness, right? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that too loud? <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Well, I put my casserole dish in my towel closet once when I was pregnant. When I went to put towels away, I was like, why is that in here? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I swear. It's for pregnant women because it's like the baby's sucking your brain dry. <laughs> you can't think for yourself when you're pregnant, you know. Did you already finish your coasters? So you plan on working on... Yeah, I finished the coasters. Oh, okay. I only had to sew around them. I already did. Where did I put them? Ooh. Well, yeah, because I didn't think... think uh, I saw you. It was on for about six minutes before I noticed you was on. I said, oh. Go over and yeah, see what put to. I'll put let me take this off. Do, do, do. All right. Here's the front of my coasters. And there's the back. And they're all just made scrap by scraps and they're all the same. Oh, okay. I did see you holding that up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just had to go all the way around and close up the hole. Because right. I didn't I didn't want to put binding on here. That's so. the that time I muted you to go on. Yeah. And then I had my hair up, so my head upside down to comb my hair before I come on. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier to put it in a ponytail. All right, here's my pocket, here's my seam roller. You're welcome, Linda. Yeah, that's what I ought to do. I need to make a video. I keep thinking about it, too, for these. Uh, oh, I don't have them in here. I took them out in my room already. I packed them up. These, um, oh, here I have one here. These pot holders I make. These here. Oh, those are nice. I used to make those. I don't yeah. anymore, but they are the best pot holders ever. You do a double you, thickness? Yeah. That yeah. You, good. you would think that that heat would get through there and burn you, but it doesn't. No, they don't. I love mine until the kids. Caught it on fire. Oh, oh my goodness. Dean Moore. I went to the grocery store when I got home. I just went in the house. Totally forgot there were groceries in the trunk. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never done that. <laughs> but I'm sure the day's coming. <laughs> Probably because I usually have my husband with me and for his job. <laughs> I put him away. He carries them in and I put them away. Wow. 
I figured he would fuss this morning. You know, we went to the store to get milk and sugar. And I went to two stores and the only sugar I could find was a two, two uh, either a two or two and a half pound bag of sugar. Oh, wow. I got no milk. I just had to uh, stop in the way and get breakfast on the way up there. Which was like an hour and a half from here. I should have interfaced this, but I don't feel like getting out the iron. I guess I'm just kind of lazy today. <laughs> I think I'll do a two inch bottom on this one because it's so. Little be perfect for cans. Mine just don't work. No, I didn't want to come out of this bowl. Oh, that works. There we go. You interface yours. I already did them. Oh, you did? Where are they at? On the table. Okay, you want me to put them out? I don't know. I might put them in the mailbox, uh, in the post office. When we're doing that? And, because I got to go get milk. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you want to call, uh, did you call Moore's? No, not yet. All right. Uh, you go get milk All right. Well, dummy me made this a little shorter. I forgot to cut off the, or wait, did I make it wider? Oh, I made it wider. Phew. That would have been terrible. I guess way. Should have muted when the husband come down the hallway. That's all right. Don't bother me. Rushing Wind Mountain says, hello, Mona and family. Hi, how are you? I'm just goofing off today. <laughs> All righty. That can go in the garbage. Goofing off, goofing off. Yeah. Um, Jean's probably putting her, getting her groceries in out of the car, rushing one mountain. Oh, <laughs> that's right. She forgot about them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> there she is. She said hi. <laughs> Did you get your groceries, Jean? <laughs> oh, I better redo that because I don't think they look the same. Oh, yeah, they are. This stuff is so much easier on the hands. I think I like the darker better than the inside. Hmm. But I think the back has the coating. Oh. 
All righty. All right, what's going on here? Go over and mute. He came back. <laughs> what happened? Oh, he came back. He was worried about. Uh, did he have to? <laughs> did he have to go out with me? Because I told him I was going to just run up to the store. Oh, okay. the, the bills in the mail, the post office, and then grab some milk. And he was worried he was going to have to go too because he's like me, he's <laughs> tired. And he had to do more because when I went to the motel room uh, Saturday night after the party, I left him there at his son's, and then they went to uh, the racetrack. And he didn't get back to the room till almost 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. And we probably didn't go to sleep till 11, 1130. Hi, Pete. Scrouching Pete. And am I going to applique my chickens? Yes. I'm going to iron them on the backing and then uh, do whatever stitch my brother has around it. You know, my brother machine, not my brother. Uh... Is the buttons working? It should be. If not, I can. I might not have signed in because I, I think I signed out. Hold on, let me finish this scene and then I'll. Hi, Jean, I'm, I'm, I'm in my sixties. I'm a few years older than you, but he said she can't even use the excuse of being ancient or pregnant. Who? <laughs> A uh, Jean with leaving her grocery. She said, laugh out loud. I've done it twice. I'm 60 now, but I did it when I, when I was 59. So I can't even use the excuse of being ancient or pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have, maybe I turned it off. Let me look. Yeah, you pee. Whoops. Hi, Nancy. That's a treasured home, right, Nancy? Yes. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, they type buttons and nothing shows up. But I don't hmm. know. Let me see if I can. Don't you just type buttons or explanation buttons? Explanation. Hmm. Yeah, Linda did it there. Did it up there before, too. Hmm. Yeah, because I signed in. But let me... All right, where did everybody go? What do you mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't see you. I'm like, where'd they go? Oh, you didn't see me? Yeah, I couldn't see the screen at all. Oh, because I was leaning forward, maybe. I oh, know. no, I ran out of buttons. Let me go <laughs> in here and make sure Streamlabs in as a moderator. They should be, because didn't so work? Oh, no, that's through Nightbot. Yeah, it's over. Well, you had to sign in in order for us to be here. Well, that's StreamYard. I have StreamYard, oh. StreamLabs, and Nightbot. <laughs> I know. I get them mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. That's not the one. Yeah. No, it's settings. Yeah, Sparky was worried. Yeah, I was going to make him go, go with me to the store. <laughs> he's tired. Poor thing. No fun getting old, and he's 10 years older than me. So, poor thing. Hmm, yeah, in there. That another thing. Everybody keep thinking I need a refrigerator out in my room. Well, I have to come in there now and then and check on him, check on the girls, you know? Right. You could always get one of those mini ones. Yeah, get me a drink, use the facilities. 
I'd be fine coming in the house. I'm not that far away. I'm probably maybe 30 feet from the back door. But the house, the, the room isn't, it, well, it's like a little house. It's not near as far from the house. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. And then there's probably 12 more feet from the house to the back steps. Because they're in there, so I don't know. Right. Maybe it's tired, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I need to... Maybe I signed out or something. Let me look. Of which case, I don't remember my password. <laughs> Linda says maybe on vacation. <laughs> yeah, it went with me. Having a squirrel moment. Kathy White said, hi, Mona. Hi, Kathy. How are you? All right, let me bring it down here where I can kind of see what I'm doing. Wait, well, I got to go to stream. Yeah, I bet you I'm not signed in or something. No, it's saying, do you want to log out? So I'm signed in. Hmm. Oh, because the cloud bot's off for some reason. Okay. There we go. Whoops. I fixed it. Well, I thought I fixed it. And it goes out. <laughs> Linda Denton said, uh, do not worry about it. We just lose the buttons anyway. True. <laughs> But I might get bored later and want to play. <laughs> Hi, Rushing Wind Mountain. Yeah, it keeps automatically turning itself off. It wants a vacation. Apparently. I don't know if Command C is the... Yeah, see, it turned itself off again. What is going on? English YouTube. All right. Well, it's on right now. So let's see. Try again. It stays on. Because I don't know what's going on. Oh, that was cool. My shirt turned everything green. <laughs> Yep, it's on. Yeah, it was the look the bot was turned off somehow. I don't know. Remember how to play. Oh wow, that's the first time ever. I won buttons. Woohoo! <laughs> I won once. That was it. One time. There, now you guys got something to play. I even put in eight ball, but I don't know how it works yet. I didn't put in any weird. What is it? You ask it questions and it makes up stupid answers. Yeah. You have to type eight ball or what? Uh, exclamation eight ball. And then I think you type your question. Oh, crap. I forgot to sew my pocket in. Darn it. Oh, um, here we go. I got to take it apart. Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> people. <laughs> feels good, man. <laughs> what? Mm, I don't know. Feels good, ma'am. Oh, I typed, <laughs> I typed in that eight ball. What question did you ask it? What are you? Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to sew in my pocket. Oh, it's not answering me. Well, it's, there's probably a, like a cool off period. All right, Seam Ripper, where are you? I got. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm spending most of my time today on the seam ripper. Hmm. I think you forgot. Oh, okay. That why. Thank you, Jean. What did I do? I forgot. Oh, okay. Exclamation point. <laughs> Hi, Lucy Scott. How are you? Oh, Hi to anyone I missed. Hi, Jean. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Hi, hi, hi. Howdy are you? <laughs> Hopefully I did it right. Goodness gracious. Sure try hard. Huh. That's weird. I'm having trouble sewing a uh, simple tote bag today. I forgot the pocket. Can you can you put it in? Yeah, I got to take it apart. Oh. I I do mine uh, all the way across and get it in the seam. Well, not all the time. On great big ones, I don't. But on the smaller ones, I do. No. I should have switched thread. This thread isn't very thick. Oh, and this stuff frays really bad. This new waterproof canvas. It's rain? Frays. You know, phrase like mm -hmm. shreds. <laughs> I won't recommend it. Try hard. <laughs> I won't recommend recommend it. Pog chomp. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy Scott said, Well, I enjoy this new job. Says, oh. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Pog chomp. <laughs> All right. Let me shove you in here. Oh, I got to take more than that apart. Might as well just take the whole thing. Start over right. Good thing we got games today because I'm not very entertaining over here. I have to seam rip one more time on this super simple project that a five-year-old could do. I'm going to start get getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> there. All right. Oh, and I sewed all the way across. I didn't leave a hole for turning either. Uh, Lucy Scott said, probably because I'll be dealing with the public. Laugh out loud, something I'm not used to. Donna Armstrong said, yes, you are, Mona. What? Entertaining. <laughs> yeah, the hot, 
hot mess express. <laughs> Show again. I treasured homes working on cleaning. Cleaning? She's supposed mm -hmm. to be sewing a skirt. Did uh, you help her? No, not yet. <laughs> of course, she probably don't want to do it on a live. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to either. There's 20 people in here. That's not bad. Just watching me goof off. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, oh, I might as well get some watch hours today. You know what? I am going to switch thread to a heavier duty one or else this might just fall apart on everybody. I'm working on my sock and resting up from the weekend, but I am knitting on a sock. I'm making the match to this one. These are the socks I make for myself. Oh, I guess this. I thought I had purple. Like these little shorty socks. This is cotton. This is what I wear in the summertime. Oh, cotton worn. Where'd my purple go? Maybe I don't have purple. Yes, you do. Right there. Oh, sorry. I was talking to myself down here. <laughs> I think that's purple. Yep, it is. Now I'm going to have to do some new bobbins. Get rid of this. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I'm going to have to turn the air on pretty soon. There's my new bobbins. Oh, this thread looks like it was made for it. Thank you. 
Oh, you dummy. That's the 20th mistake I've made today. <laughs> this is not good. I can't even sew a bobbin. I mean, wind a bobbin. Maybe I'll just sit here and play buttons with everybody else. <laughs> Oh, you son of a gun. What are you doing? Oh, you're, you got to go down here. Gosh darn it. This is not my day. And why won't this go in there? Oh, you got to put it through. Well, that ain't going to happen. Oh, yeah, it can. Oh, dear. Out, out, out. All right, here we go. Try this again. And if this doesn't work, I quit. I will play buttons. And that's it. <laughs> what the hell? Heck. My thing's going crazy over here. Yeah. Why is this going crazy? Maybe. Just had to give it the evil eye. The only thing I don't like about this thread is it unwinds. That's no good. Well, it's bonded nylon or... What do you mean it unwinds? It comes off the bobbin real easy. No. Oh. Because it's, you know, real slippery. Right. But it's real strong. So I just hook it until I'm ready. And then I unhook it. Right. And hopefully I did that right. Because I did it upside down. But it's really strong. If you sew with this, your, your bag is not coming apart. Well, the thing just went apart so easy that um, oh great now I got something stuck in there you've got to be kidding me much thing but this is stuck well it broke let's hope that's all it needed <clears throat> oh 
Oh, gosh. Good thing I looked. Here it is. I just cleaned this this weekend, and it's already a dusty mess. Mona. Huh? How much did you sew on it? My gypsy woman. I don't know. Well, I guess I did sew quite a bit over the weekend, but not as much as I normally do. Just been Lucy's playing around with scraps and looking stuff. Um, Lucy Scott want to know if you have a video for a cute little summer dress. No. A little, little summer dress. No. I have patterns and stuff, but no. I make all my, uh, used to make the girls out of cotton or um, that stretch fabric on my serger. That was easy. Now I got to see what needle is what. <laughs> and then uh, um, Linda Denton want to know when you make the slime bag on here so we can watch. Yeah, but not today. I'll get it all cut out, and then I'll do it. Oh, wait. What did I do with that needle I had in my hand? Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Purple and blue. All right, it's probably a microtech. Yep, microtech. Just what I need. I'm just changing needles because, well, I really should for the thread. I think I got some life left in there, so I'll put you there. Oh, is she not making it yet, Wendy? No, I'm she... just working on a tote bag today. Yeah, she want to know which sling bag you're making. It's the Sand Hill Sling by Noodlehead. But there's that new one I want to try, too. The Mav or something. Is it by Linz? It's a smaller one. Yeah, I was just going to whip up a super easy project here, but I've had to take it apart twice. I had to change the needle, had to change the thread, <laughs> forgot the pockets. Now for something like that, oh, where's my presser foot? Oh, you took it off. I wonder why I took that off. That don't even make good sense. Susan, I'm losing it. All right. Let me put this away. No, Wendy, so she, I have that pattern, haven't made it yet. I also have the Maeve, still not made it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've made this one before, but I didn't do the drop in lining, I did it with binding. And I still don't have that one because I sold it. So I haven't made it in a while. Yeah, it did say they took I'll probably cut out a few and then uh, do one before I go live and then do one. <laughs> so I'm not totally crazy. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. There's no lag time at all. Lag time. No trouble for it going through the thing. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. 
Okay, but it doesn't say on here. Now what? Weird. I ran, well, I couldn't have ran out of bobbin thread. I just put it in there. All right. You know what, people? I'm having trouble. Oh, I don't think I pulled it up. That might have something to do with it. <laughs> Let me see. Nope. Oh, it's too tight. No wonder. Hi, Gypsy Woman. No, you didn't hear me say she was here? No. <laughs> That's the one that was asking about the bag, Wendy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there went all my thread unwinding. Gosh darn. Hi, so yarn arm. How are you? <laughs> Making my doggy bandanas are not impressed. <laughs> so funny. Unless you want to know what you're making today, besides a mess. <laughs> That's about all. A big mess. All right. Well, I'm gonna turn off my mic and my camera for a minute. I gotta go take care of my husband. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Well, this came out. Oh. Yeah, it's a mess here. I got things breaking, things flying. Well, that shouldn't need to be done. So let me try again. Unless my, maybe that needle was broke that I just put in because I got it from over there. So let me try again. Yeah, I was going to make the sling bag, but I didn't feel like cutting it out. All right, let's see. Let's loosen you up a bit. There. So this time I'm going to do a little test piece before I go to the bag. And then I was looking for something, couldn't find it, so. And now my sewing machine, oh, it's sewing. Okay. I wanted to use this purple thread, so I changed. It's a heavy-duty bonded nylon or polyester, so I switched. So first I had to take it apart because I forgot the pocket. Then I took it apart because I forgot something else. So it's not been going smoothly today. And I thought, oh, I'll just cut out a random tote bag. Something real simple and easy. You know, no stress. Anybody can make. And then screw it up. That's what I did. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And I'm just using canvas and water-resistant canvas that I bought from More Me Know. But I didn't think my cotton quilting cotton was quite thick enough. I hate to go through and make it and then have it break. You know, the thread break. So. So now I'm just redoing it. Or the lining. I am going to re-sew the front too. Oh, that's right. That's not even on the thing. Forgot I hit the... I hit it there. Okay, 
that's done. Now I'm going to re-sew this one in stronger thread because, ouch. And normally, if I'm making a bag, I use fusible fleece on my tote bags. That gives it some cushion and stability. And then I use the SF-101 on the lining. But, and if I'm using canvas, I usually still use SF-101. But I got this water-resistant canvas, so it should give it structure. But yes, normally I would use fusible fleece with it. I just like the extra cushion. But once you get mad at yourself for doing something, you're like, I don't want to do it anymore. So now I'm just going to box the corners. Nancy, you could bring up your skirt if you're still in the chat. Or if anybody has something they want to sew with us, you can join. The links at the top pinned. Okay, rushing wind. Bye. Yeah, I'll be here a while, especially if I keep making all these mistakes. that done. Now I'm going to cut off this extra over here. I'm just going to do these corners now. My daughter must still be here. I hear the TV. Jean said, maybe you took it off to change your needle. Took what off? Uh, something. I guess she was looking for something. Oh, my presser foot. <laughs> I'm like, why is my presser foot off? No. Oh. <laughs> I think I might have taken it off. I was going to put the quarter inch foot on, but I don't need the quarter inch foot when I'm making bags. 
because I usually do a bigger seam allowance. Huh. Thing I went out here. Gingy Bell would have been out here looking for me. She was out of snacks. Oh, oh, oh. can't have that happen. So eating them all up. I usually give them some in the morning. If she likes um, crunchy food instead of her soft food. I wish she'd eat her soft food. But, but yeah, my her. cat won't eat it. She won't eat soft. Well, she eats it, but not all of it. I, get, touch it. I split. Uh, 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 I, have, I open a whole can in the morning and give them each a quarter of it for breakfast and the other quarter each for dinner. Oh. And Callie eats all of hers, but Gingy's usually gets scraped in the bowl for the outside kitties. Oh, this is wrong. Yeah, I forgot. I was going to leave the outside kitties some extra food when I left. Hopefully my neighbors picked up the slack. I have lost my, one of my rulers. I don't know where it went off to. How much patience does Monica need? <laughs> A lot, let me tell you. <laughs> it didn't Love answer. It's gone right today. Oh, it said sure ki kipo. Huh. This is some crazy stuff, let me tell you. You can add in your own responses, but I thought, you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to add it for people to play with. <laughs> well, this bag is going to be long and skinny. You can carry your spaghetti in it. That's about it. <laughs> what the heck? I must not have measured too good either. Yeah, the, the outside is way bigger than the inside. I must have forgot to do something. I'm going to do it different. <sighs> And then we can see what you were doing. So I'm like, oh, you're almost done with your bag. Not really. I'm sure something else will go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, they're not quite the same size. So I'm hoping if I put this over top, it'll grow. <laughs> Did you cut them the same size? I thought I did, but that don't mean I did. <laughs> I thought I measured them and did everything just right, but today hasn't been one of those days. Right. Well, this side seems to be okay, but I don't know about the other side. Yeah, this one side seems to be bigger. What the heck?
Well, I'll fix that. I'll fudge it up. Oh, I got to put my handles on yet. Wow, I won again. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. If it gave me my buttons the other day, it kept losing, but my buttons stayed the same. All right. I'm going to do a little fudging and make this a little smaller right there. Oh, wow. It did, Adam. <laughs> Aha! The miracle of re-sewing a spot to make it fit. <laughs> there, I don't know why, but that one side was just a little tad bigger. Well, should I use the fabric or the webbing for handles? Please pick the webbing. I use the webbing. But it's easier. <laughs> yes, it is. Much. I can't remember what I did on my last one. I've been writing everything down, but then I move stuff. I can't find my little notebook. Oh, I know. I'll measure the one I just made. It's on the door. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I tripping on? Thread. There it is. Nylon thread? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to pick that up. I can't have the cats be. No, oh, yeah. It would not be a good situation. 18. Must have did 24. Yep, 24. 24, 24. Why is there... Oh, I must have a... This is weird. It's unrolling in both places oh well i know i'll just cut them both at the same time <laughs> maybe i forgot to take something this morning i think i took my medicine Oh, glad you said that. Got my balance of nature. My husband's like, he takes his three times a day. You're supposed to take three tablets a day. But he takes, oh, well, three of each. The vegetable and the fruit. Mm -hmm. He takes them three times a day. I just take them one a day because I have enough trouble trying to remember to take them. I just take them once a day everything once a day in the morning or else it doesn't get done so right. my doctor said he'd rather me do that than not take it at all so well these aren't that's what i do these this that balance of nature that you see on tv no, look how big these it. pills are it's your is it a vitamin it, or something? it's your daily um your, your, what you need for a full day of fruits and vegetables. Oh, you know, okay. It's three capsules of each. Three of fruits and three of vegetables. And oh. uh, if I don't take them at once, then I'm going to forget them. And he takes them three times a day. Where'd the bag go? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this bag is really, really small. This will be a kid's grocery bag. Oh, you was making it for a... Cans. <laughs> for a little grocery small. bag? Well, I was just making a tote bag, but I um. thought I made it smaller. 
I did 14. I usually make mine 18 by 18. Well, this is going to end up being 13. So let me find the middle. Yeah, I thought mine was. And, uh, by with the fabric. It was a little bit too tall, but I figured I'd rather use it for a bag because if I cut off any fabric, it was just going to go to waste. You know? Yeah, I usually cut it for handles. Mm -hmm. You know, if I make the handle. Right. Oh, geez, that wasn't. Oh, yeah, that's even. I'm losing it over here, I'm telling you. Oh, and this has got to go on the inside. Hi, crossover paranormal society. Can't see hey, that. everyone. Can you hear me? No, uh uh. Crossover, crossover paranormal society is here. Goodness, I got that. Hi! Come here, marker. I don't know why I'm marking it there. It's got to go on the other side. Ugh. 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 Yeah, I just estimated. On this. I usually do it on in the bag before I put it together. Yeah, I just guesstimated mine because I made um, I make 14. You can make 14 bags. And I need to put some in my well, I put some plastic. They're supposed to be reuse bags from Walmart. Mm -hmm. They were handing them out for probably several months. You're supposed to be able to use them for 125 times, these plastic bags here. Mm -hmm. And they're already getting holes in them. Yeah. This one here has got stretch marks in it and stuff. And I mean, and I'm very gentle on my bags. So this one, I've just been using it for a trash bag. And then when it gets filled up, I got to dump it in the trash can outside for the garbage, you know? And I guess yeah, I, I use a um, table. What do you use? Waterproof canvas in mine. No, I'm talking about trash bags. Oh, trash bags. Yeah. Oh, I just make those out of cotton and waterproof canvas. You mean for in the in the car or trash bags to use? You know, like in your sewing room to throw out your garbage and in your kitchen and all. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, I was lost. I'm like. And my my daughter-in-law said uh, said she was uh, cheap, and I said no, it's frugal. She said what? And I said say you're frugal, not cheap. Yeah, because <laughs> she was uh, her. She'll have a bag in a recycle bin in the house in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and then when um, it gets uh, starts getting yucky in it because she doesn't want to just put it put her recycle in the can in the bin that's what we do and then when it gets dirty i'll just wash it out you know every like once a month or so but uh she'll put a bag in there and then when it they take it out to the recycle bin dump it in there and then when it gets gunky she'll put it in the trash can use it, and then she'll throw that one away but uh, I told her, I said, nah. <laughs> I said, I must be cheaper than you because uh, I'm not. I said, plastic bags are expensive for your garbage. And I said, uh, so I don't do that. I, well, uh, cheap. <laughs> Laugh out loud. So you aren't. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll, I'll put one in the trash can, you know, but not in the recycle bin. I'm not. Oh, we don't have recycling, but. Well, you can, but you have to put it in a separate thing. In New York, we had to put our recycling in a clear um, 
when I lived upstate in a clear garbage bag. Right. You had to wash it all before you put it in there. Mm -hmm. Like your cans and your bottles and your mayonnaise and your peanut butter jar. Right. You had to wash all them. I did not like washing that peanut butter jar. I'm telling I you. I know. So I tried to get away with putting it in a paper bag and then in the in the garbage because you put them all together. You didn't have to sort it. Right. No. That sucker found it in there and left it on my doorstep. Said, ah, uh ah. -uh. Are you like, kidding me? No. I'm like, oh, darn. And so you threw it in the garbage? What, they went through your garbage? Yep. Holy well, I saw that one bag in there and figured it looked like a, you know, a can or whatever, or a bottle. Yep. With a note, you have to wash these. I'm like, oh. Uh, here they ha they have cameras on trash trucks, and if anyone goes in from recycle bin, they won't come next time. I don't know what you mean. But this was like 30 years ago when they first started it, which I didn't mind, but I didn't like washing out the peanut butter jug. I know, you know, that t in my mind, that wastes more water. Yep. No, oh, okay. If something goes in the recycling, not supposed to. Um, well, I pretty much, I put, um, I mean, I do, I, I will rinse out, the, like, the milk jug, stuff like that. But those other, uh, like, the mayonnaise and, and um, yeah, peanut they have butter. Jeez, couldn't think of what peanut butter was. Stuff like that. I'm not washing those out. I mean, mayonnaise, I guess, is a little bit easier. I'll put water in there and shake it about and stuff, but I'm not scrubbing it clean. Yeah, we had to scrub it clean. Or they wouldn't take it. That's crazy. I would have flattened that jar out. I'd taken it out and run it over, but with my car. <laughs> <laughs> Tape it on the tire, I guess. The only way you do that, <laughs> or take it out to put it in. You know, when you go to a fast food place to get food, <laughs> throw it away there. <laughs> Don't deal with it. I'm trying to think. I don't, we didn't have any fast food. I think we had one McDonald's in Norwich. Um, <laughs> did we, oh, we had a Gilligan's Island, but I don't know if that was open in the winter. Gilligan's we didn't have Island. any fast food, so there was not much you could do. How do they well, do it in California with water shortage? I wonder. But still a waste and more money. I wonder if you could put that jar in the microwave and melt oh, it. No, that's a good idea. Maybe just melt it all and then it'll come mm -hmm. right out. Yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't eat that much peanut butter. It would probably it well, probably was that when my those. my son was little, he used to eat all kinds of stuff. And I yeah. love peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was back like in the late 70s, early 80s, right. early 80s. Yeah, this is probably going to be the worst tote bag I've ever made. How do they do it in California with water shortage? I wonder, but silly, wasting more water. I know. That's what I'm saying. I think it wastes more water to clean in those things. Yeah, but, I do too. Right. I mean, some of those you can rinse real easy, like uh, mayonnaise, mustard, milk jugs, stuff like yep. that is easy enough to rinse out. And I didn't but, mind that. You had to wash your cans. No, yeah, I just rinse mine out. I mean, I don't wash them. But, yeah, I know some of those places want you to scrub them out. I just rinse them out. And... Well, maybe I'll... Uh, to, uh, title this episode How Not to Make a Tote Bag <laughs> 20 Ways to Screw Up Your Tote Bag <laughs> Oh 
dear. Oh well. All those clips you're putting on there. I don't do I didn't do none of that. <laughs> oh, I do. Because it's um with the waterproof canvas, it's slippery. Oh. And I don't want it to move around. When I'm doing cotton, you don't have to do that. But with this stuff, I do. What's going on inside of here? Jeez. Oh, there we go. A lot of It'll go viral, Mona. <laughs> it says Nancy. <laughs> Instead of 50 ways to lose your lover, it's 50 ways to screw up a tote bag. <laughs> and now that sucker's in my way. Get over. Now everything's all jackered up. Oh, well. No oh, goodness. There we you go. Left, you left one at the bottom so open, did Yeah. Right. I, yeah. I don't know who it was. I used to watch making those bags. They call it birth in the bag. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I call it, too. Yeah. But what the heck? I didn't have this much trouble on that giant tote bag I made. Or the bags. Hi, Gibbs. What are you doing up here? Hi, baby. Did you take him poop? No, I mean, he, the cat box. Oh, well, can you put him on the bed, please? What'd you feed him? He smells. You smell, Goober. Is that from all that snoring? <laughs> He's coming. He can't get on the bed by himself. No, thank goodness. No, he's old. And my bed's low, too. Mm. I bought stairs for my dogs when they got old. And I tried, tried, tried to teach them to walk up them, and they never did. I still got I, those stairs. I don't have room up here for the stairs, but I have stairs downstairs in the couch. It's been there three months. The cat uses it, but the dogs haven't. Right. All right. Now let's see if this I works. haven't tried putting snacks on them. They just sit there and look at me. You know I'm not climbing up there to get that snack, but you know you're going to give it to me, right, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> but it did go up at last week once but no they were jumping over top of the steps and I'm like you're going to get hurt <laughs> didn't make my hole very big <sighs> hopefully I didn't sew my handles down or something to something they're not supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part I hate turning it. So hard on my hands. So uh, waterproof vinyl is it pretty uh, sturdy? Oh yeah, it's like waterproof canvas. It's or canvas, waterproof it's, canvas. This this waterproof is water resistant, so it's just a little stiffer than regular canvas. Right. But the waterproof canvas, it has a thick rubber on the back. Oh okay. And it, but I wanted to try this because it's easier on my hands. But I think I like the waterproof better. And it's a lot cheaper. Right. It's water resistant. And I use it in regular um, bag bags. I use it as the lining. Because then I don't have to use all that interfacing. Right. 
but I carried all the bags downstairs and put them in a tote and under some stuff so I can film them eventually and get them on the website. Now this is a tiny tote bag. Do you have a website, not a no, I was I had Etsy. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, they charge too much money in my book. Well, I didn't think it was bad, but um and another thing when you go on there, unless you have a person's link, they're hard to find over there. Oh yeah. You mean a shop name? Yeah. Yes, it is. It was a lot better when they first started. I made good sales yeah. selling my crochet stuff. Mm -hmm. And when they switched everything and allowed manufacturing and stuff, right. it wasn't as easy. But it's a good thing I didn't put fusible fleece on this uh, canvas. Because this bag is tight enough. <laughs> All right, now I'm just going to sew it and it's done. Oh, I have to do the top stitching. Yeah. Well, my daughter must be getting ready to go with her granny. Is that your mom? Yeah. They're going to my nephew's or my niece's kids ball game. I didn't want to go, which I normally do, but today I just wasn't feeling it. I almost forgot to put a label in. The only thing that I like on this so far is the pocket. You forget to put the label on, just put it, sew it on. I sew it in the lining yeah. when I close yeah. it. Yeah. Or if it has a zipper pocket, yeah. I'll put one in there too. But I usually put in there, you look pretty today. You know, that <laughs> label and then put the regular on the side. Right. I have some leather ones too, but I don't like the way they look, so. I right. them. Oh, I forgot I took myself off the sewing machine. Oh, well, they don't need to know what I'm doing today. <laughs> well, Rita must not have came back. Yes, yeah, she used to uh, sell crochet on, on Etsy. So yarn them. Ask about your so on Etsy. Yeah. What did you say she was leaving? Mona. No, it, she well, she was fixing her husband a lunch and then she might come back. But right. no, I did very well when I first started with the crochet. But now they ha you can't get a thing revoked. I had a hundred percent on all my views, five stars, and somebody on accident left one star and told me how much they liked the thing I made them. I can't remember what it was, but it's the last one. So it took me down to two stars or one star after all those, all that feedback. Right. And I contacted the lady. She finally um, said she was sorry that she didn't mean to. She meant to give five stars. Well, it's too late to do the, you know, put in the review. Right. So I took everything off of there. I mean, I would not shop with somebody that has one star. Right. You know, even if they don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a little kid's tote bag. Or you could use it for your coupons. And that's crazy. If you have a whole bunch of five star and you got one one star by accident... They, yep. they shouldn't do that to you. No, they did, and they won't. They won't uh, redo it. 
I am. I didn't say I'm going right this second. I'm on a live with Mona. Wow. I know. That's more important than anything else. <laughs> Sorry. He sounded like my grandpa would say to me. <laughs> well, that has a pucker in it. Well, it's staying. You know what? I can fix it. Well, what's... There's one there, too. Why is it puckering? I mean, he's not eating breakfast till tomorrow morning. Oh, crazy man. Are you going to the store? <laughs> I am. Oh, he wants to go get stuff for breakfast. No, I told him I was going to get milk. And then I was going to drop the bills off at the post office. Where the post office is, uh, I'm just going to put it in the mailbox out front. Oh, okay. They'll go out in tomorrow's mail instead of being picked up for tomorrow. Because I should have made the bills out before I left, but I didn't. So I'll, I do them once a month. And, I did them this morning. Uh, right, and I didn't get them, out, get them done first thing this morning. So I figure I'll drop them off there. Oh, there is my tiny tote bag. And if I tell him I'm going to do something, uh-oh. What? My screen went black. If I tell him I'm going to do, uh, if I tell him I'm going to do something, he will pester me until it's done. I don't care if I tell him I'm going to do something next week. He'll, he'll remind me like 20 times every single day. Don't forget you're going to do that. Don't forget you're going to. Okay. <laughs> I think it because it eats at him. I don't know. No, never change. What do you mean? Oh, did they change the thing on Etsy? All right, let me top stitch this. Get you out of the way. Oh my gosh, look at the dirt under here. And I just cleaned that too. Oh, goodness. Well, it does get dusty up here. Yeah. My gosh. How embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Let's take you to a... Oh, the sewing's uh, dusty. Yeah. I was going to say a chore, but... <laughs> couldn't think of a word. That matches perfectly. This purple thread. All right, slow down, Speedy Gonzalez. Well, I think that uh, the candles match that great. Mm-hmm. Bag. Yeah, that fabric there. I've I, I had I bought a whole bunch of it. I don't even know what I bought it for. Oh, probably to make bags with. <laughs> But the two flower ones, I bought those specifically for you when you won that giveaway. Oh, the blue ones? Yeah, they're my favorite. Yeah. Ones. But this is puckery. It's not laying flat. I guess I should have ironed it. But I didn't want to get out the iron. <laughs> Lazy me. You opened a new crochet, a new Etsy shop, you saying? No, it the, originally it was Ohio Crochet Lady. So I just changed the name to Monty May Boutique when I was going to start sewing bags. Oh. But then I sold, I don't remember what it was, whatever it was. Oh, it was a pattern, I think. Like a $4 crochet pattern because I used to write crochet patterns. Right. Or whatever it was. And she was thrilled with it, but only left one star. But then never answered to me. 
And by the time she did, it was too late and I couldn't have it revoked. But I don't know why this is puckering because it's all the same size because I went in and changed it. So this is what it's not to do. But it's still cute. Yes, it is. Yeah, they had changed a bunch of their, like their, they used to have, well, they even charge you for the shipping fee. Say you sell $20 yes, and it costs you $5 to ship, you have to pay them on the $25. Yep. And they never used to do that. And right. Other reason I quit. And then they wanted you to go through this specific bank, but I guess that one I read wrong. You don't have to, you have to get uh, registered, but you don't have to use them. Right. So I just took everything off and went on vacation and never came back. Right. But yeah, that for a bag, it looks pretty good. I should have. I for, You know what else I forgot to do? I forgot to sew this pocket down. So I got a huge pocket and no thing in the middle. Mm. Put a Velcro in there. Well, I could turn it inside out and just sew. Well, yeah. Right through both. Yeah, so I'm not taking it apart. <laughs> yeah, so a line through it. That's what or I, I can hand stitch it and just do it right through and not go through the other side. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, but that there it is not a bad size. Be for a few cans. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, the guy that I bought these um, um, seam rippers from, he's. Uh, I, I'm trying to get a hold of him to because I want to do a giveaway and give um, a gift certificate to his shop. But um, it, he he was selling on Etsy, but he he said he's going to stop. I bought this from him too. Yeah, but he's going to stop selling on Etsy and do his own his own website. Yeah, once I get monetized then I'm going to open up a Shopify store. Right. You know, my own, because it's not that much there. It's like, right. I don't know, $30 a month or something. And then right. I can sell right on uh, YouTube, right at the bottom. Instead of having like merch that people do, it'll be mine. Oh, yeah. So oh. that's if my mother stops taking everything. I, I started, stop showing her stuff. Because she wants it. Right. I mean, everything. Well, I want that bag. How come I didn't get that bag? I said, you can't have every single bag. Now, she does pay for them, but I don't charge her. Right, right. What right. I charge everybody else. Right. And then she'll say, that much? And I'm like, yeah. Because I don't think $45 for this one bag is that expensive. It's really cheap. Right. He said something, and I said, well, you could always go to Walmart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she buys them for all her friends and stuff. Right. So it's nice, but <laughs> I just like to make what I want to make when I want to make it, and I don't want to have to stress right. over getting out, because the one year I had to make her like 25 wristlets for Christmas. Yep. Well, be careful out there, Donna Armstrong. She's going to get her her sewing machine from the shop. Oh, nice. Be yeah, skippy. Be careful. I bet you have missed it. I know there's crazies out there. Let me tell you. Yeah, there is. I got to take mine to the shop. Well, not this one. Well, it should probably go in for a spa day, but I got to take my surgery in. Well, I didn't need this. Oh, wow. People won't pay shipping from Ireland? That's crazy. Um, so, Yarnum was going to start a, a um, Etsy. 
They take too much percentage and people won't pay shipping costs now from Ireland. They used to have a thing that if you, I think it was $35. You bought a, a lot of shops. If you spent $35, you got your shipping for free. Yeah, well, and it's expensive if to ship that yourself. Right. Well, there's this one gal that I watch. She has a, um, a YouTube channel. She's a, a knitter and crocheter, and she sews and stuff. And then she started dyeing yarn and everything, too. But, um, yeah, people don't... It, the People that dye yarn talk about how hard it is. Well, it's not. <laughs> you put the yarn... <laughs> you get, just as long as you're using the, the correct... Now, you can use Ritz dye, but I use professional dye. And because I tried the Ritz and I'm, I'm afraid that, you know how sometimes clothes will fade out. Yeah. I wouldn't use Ritz dye on yarn either. And so I worry about the, the Ritz dye, the, the dye washing out, you know, the, uh, yeah. the, out of my yarn. But, uh, I, so I use professional dye and you either use, um, um, Darn it, I just had it. Some kind of acid. Citric acid. Or you use uh oh that's cute. Oh thanks. And see that's my little doggie there. Yeah. She died, but that's Julie there. My screen just went dead again. And then there's the back of that one. And then it has webbing. And then in the inside it has waterproof canvas and it has two slip pockets. And then a nice big zipper pocket on, let's see, where can oh, you, yeah. Yeah, right see. there. Mm -hmm. That's how I make all my bags with the pockets and the uh, thing. But I didn't on that one because I wouldn't have been able to turn it with that small bag. Right. No. So. She said it was a spa day for her sewing machine. These are for me. All right, I gotta put some of this stuff away. Well, I don't really have to, but I should. Um, Nancy, they changed it a few years ago. Well, actually, they probably change it every couple of years or so. How how you sell stuff on Etsy? Because I was gonna sell stuff on there probably five, six years ago. And then just before I'd made up a bunch of uh, project bags. And then just before I was going to post them on there, they had changed their rules and how much money it cost you and stuff, how much money they took of your profit. Yeah. And I was like, uh, no, because then I would have to raise my prices. And other people was like, that's not fair that you would have to raise your prices and charge people. And how do you know people are going to want to pay that extra yeah. now? And still, even if you raised your prices, Etsy's going to charge you more because they take so much per each dollar, you know, a percentage of every dollar that you make, even on your shipping. And that I could figure that one out. Yeah, that's what kind of soured my stomach was when you had to pay fees on shipping. It's right. not like you're making any money. Right. You know, and especially if you were using their shipping calculator and everything. Right. It's not like you were going to, you know, make anything. Yeah, I didn't care for that at all. Well, what is going on with this? I don't want to change thread again. I need to find something purple to sew. <laughs> All right. No, you don't want to change thread. <laughs> and I don't know what's up with my cutting, but oh my goodness. This one's wonky too. Hmm. Maybe it was wonky to begin with. Now you have to straighten it up. Well, I normally just um, do it the size of the panel. So maybe the panel's wonky. Right. 
Oops, I don't want to cut that. I don't like this thing. This Martelli. Yeah. I don't sure. cut it. I didn't know she was here. Hello, Shirley. She must have come in while I was gone. Hi, Shirley. How are you? How you feeling? I don't even know how long I've been on or what time I came up. Maybe 12. Oh, my goodness. It's four. Yeah. yeah a Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably get off of here. I thought I came upstairs at 1230, but I don't know if that's when I went on because I was kind of scatterbrained. Yeah, we've been on, well, you've been on three hours and 10 minutes, 11 minutes. Oh, I guess maybe I should get off of here. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't seem that long. Cause, uh, three hours. Three and a half? Yeah, been, yeah, you've been on three hours and 11 minutes, and I came on about three hours ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, it might be one. Well, I must have been no. distracted or having fun no. together. Sorry, <laughs> I accidentally hit my speaker on. Yeah, it came on just about three hours ago. No wonder. They're <laughs> hogging the internet. <laughs> Well, Shirley said he, she was here right at the beginning. I must not have been on yet. So I came on. I thought I saw her earlier, and I saw her on somebody else's live, too. Oh, that might have been uh, Brandy's that she was on. Mine stay in at my, uh, Gene, my grocery bags stay in the car because if they don't, um, I will leave them. I will forget them in the house. So as soon as I finish them, I run them back out to the car. And there's been times that I've had to run back out to the car to get my grocery bags. Tell my husband to stay right here. Oh, my chat's been disconnected. But um, <coughs> I tell him, hang on. I'll be right back. I'm going to run back out to the car to get my, my tote bags because I forgot them my grocery store bags yeah i do the same thing yeah because they don't provide them here anymore well they still do here but for a while you weren't i made them all and then we weren't allowed to use them because of covid shirley said you were correct man i saw you on or monica i saw you on brandy's that's what i thought but i'm gonna have to clip these together because i'm just having a heck of a time <laughs> can't cut. I can't straighten. So, all right, I'll put this down and go on my goodbye tour. <laughs> Tomorrow, if I come on, I will uh, make sure I have that all cut out. But I may wait and do it Wednesday because I got to work. Well, I don't work, but I have to go to my uncle's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week. All right. So should we go off soon or do you want to wait till 3.30 or? 4.30 you mean? 4.30? Oh yeah, geez. <laughs> you want to wait till 4.30 or <laughs> you want to go off now? <laughs> no, I'm good to go off now because uh, okay, someone's, going come, someone's going to come barking at me <laughs> real soon. That's why I was away. 3.30, what? <laughs> I can't be on here for uh, 12 and a half more hours. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Or 11 and a half. But <laughs> Bye, all. <laughs> <Toodles. laughs> Did not realize. <laughs> and... Yep. Bye, Sarah. Till next time, she said. <laughs> Bye, everyone.
my hit and oh there we go 